the tall, dark, and extremely handsome GP3. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Um, I went a little bit too far with that. I'm not very tall. But anyways, I'm excited for my first show with MSCSports.com. And again, just um, before we start off, just want to thank one of our sponsors, um, Exine Tea and Juice, all natural tea and juice made with pure cane sugar and 100% vitamin C. Um, check out their website um, at uh, KZKORradio.com for that link. Um, again, this show is um, just isn't about bodybuilding altogether. So a lot of you meatheads that are tuning into this show, take a breath, you know, calm down. Some segments will be about bodybuilding, but again, it's all completely about fitness altogether. There'll be some shows where we'll be talking about MMA altogether. There'll be some shows that will discuss nutrition, um, CrossFit training, um, just all different types of guests from all over the world will be tuning in just for the certain segments. We even have um, a pole dancing um, person that will also come in, which, believe it or not, is a very, very tough training regimen. <laughs> I mean, I thought I had it done myself, and it's not very easy whatsoever. Um, the best part about GP3 um, Bodybuilding to the Max is that you, the listener, can also interact with our guests and me also by also with our call-in line, uh, phone number is 303-386-3598. Also on our Facebook, www.facebook.com slash GP3, Bodybuilding to the Max, or on the Twitter, which is at GP3, Bodybuild, the number two, dot, um, the Max. So, <clears throat> oh, get it. so anyways, basically, let's get this um, show started. Um, you're probably asking yourself, who is GP3? Well, I'm a Southern boy from Jacksonville, Florida, and also um, a natural-born athlete and a military brat. So I've been all over the U.S. traveling. And believe it or not, Jacksonville, Florida is country. It's basically another extension of Southern Georgia. So don't let the Florida part of that confuse you. It's as country as it gets. Um, but the whole... Um, Think about being a military brat. I never had a lot of um, chance to develop a lot of friendships. So sports and fitness was kind of my way of interacting with people. So, again, throughout my high school, even middle school and high school, I played um, football, ran track, played basketball, um, got a scholarship to, the, uh, to a Division One school, also played football and ran indoor track. And just to keep the whole competitive side of me, after um, after college, I did I dabbled a little bit of indoor football for a little while, and once I was done with that, the competitive edge was still there inside of me. So I decided to start doing bodybuilding, and I've been doing that for on and off for about five years. Just recently, I've gotten a little serious with it. Um, I have been competing in local and national level bodybuilding competitions, and altogether, I have just a huge passion for fitness and basically in fitness and health. And my goal basically through this show is to share this with most of my um, listeners. Now, since this show is called bodybuilding to the max, I'm just going to start off just with this show in general, just talking about bodybuilding in general. And what I would do with right now is discuss how I got into bodybuilding and doing my very first show. Um, about five years ago, when I, while I was living in Jacksonville, Florida, um, I came down to Denver to visit a loved one. And I was working out at Powerhouse uh, Gym, or you can call it working out. I just kind of slacking around, just BSing with the weights. And um, I ran into a guy named Jeremy Calma. Uh, Jeremy, if you're listening, I hope I pronounced your last name correct. I probably just butchered that. Um, but I ran into him in the gym, and um, he was looking at me, and then came up to me and just started. We just started talking. And asked me, have I ever decided about or ever competed in bodybuilding? And then my whole response to that was, you know, you no, know, the guys wearing the bikini underwear is running around, you know, bedazzled outfits. No, nah, no, nah. I said, nah, homie, that's not for me. So um, he was just like, well, I have an idea if you want to try this. I was just like, just, um, there's a show coming up in three weeks. Um, I'm not going to diet you down for a show. I, do, I want you to do the show, you know as your physique is right now. Um, but just come in. I'll teach you. I'll show you how to pose, just a quick how-to on how to pose, and then let's just see how the show goes. 
So after about five minutes of him harassing me about this, I said, you know what, I'll go ahead and I'll do it if it's going to shut you up. That's what I was thinking in my head. I didn't say that out loud. But I was thinking that in my head. So um, it was the 2008 um, Mile High Championship. So um, but, uh, backstage while everybody else was getting ready and everybody, you know, eating their sweet potatoes and their rice cakes, whatever. And I'm sitting there with a piece of um, McDonald's cheeseburger, just eating a cheeseburger. Um, people were staring at me like I was just nuts. But again, eating cheeseburger, not caring. Because again, I wasn't taking this show very serious at all. And um, to make a long story short, I went out there. Uh, obviously, I impressed the judges. So for my very first show, without dieting down or anything, I won the novice uh, class, novice overall. Um, Drug Free for Life won that class and won the overall. And won the open class and open overall. So basically, just swept the whole show, took six trophies back to my old country self, um, country town in Jacksonville, Florida. Um, after that, I, came, I took about, I'd probably say about two years off. And um, I came back again to Denver, and my whole, there was another show I saw on the web, and I was just like, you know what, I'm going to do the show again, just as is. Just not caring, just go, just try to get me some free trophies or whatnot. And um, did the show, um, I can't remember what show, I think it was the Colorado Natural, and uh, placed third. And that didn't rub too well with me, even though I didn't try. I always felt like, you know, being a natural athlete, everything is going to come easy to me. So um, after the show, I was talking to the judges and just telling, they were asking me, you know, um, who's my trainer, blah, 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 blah. And I was just telling them, you know, I don't compete. I just, I mean, I was just doing it just to try to get some trophies. And a guy named um, Cameron Bodner, um, was one of the judges at that show and was talking to me and told me, if you take this even halfway serious, you could be a decent comp- a decent competitor. If you take this seriously, you can be a great competitor. So I took that advice and then um, it's basically how someone kind of got started to it. Then I ran into um, a couple of trainers, um, Alan Watkins, and then now I am training with Dylan Armbrust, who will also be in the show later on tonight. And... Um, the last couple of shows I've done, um, after I took it seriously, I won the Mile High um, um, show again, Open Class, Drug Free for Life won the overall. Then I did a national show, Team Universe, and I uh, came third as a light heavyweight. And then the following year, after um, going over to Dylan Armbrust, I did um, Junior Nationals in Chicago last um, this past year and placed eighth in my class despite having um, food poisoning the night after weigh-ins and lost about 10 pounds. And obviously, you competitors know once you're sick at a show, you're basically, it's a wrap for you. So, um, so again, I have big plans for myself this year in, in bodybuilding, which I'll, I'll talk about later on throughout the show and even throughout the many months to come while we're doing this show. Um, but again, that's how I got into bodybuilding. Again... I'm extremely passionate about this. I've been, again, even for five years, that, that I eat, sleep, and you know what, everything about bodybuilding. So, um, <clears throat> so again, I have some guests coming in tonight that are well-known in the Colorado bodybuilding community. So um, as we take this uh, quick break, again, you're listening to GP3, Bodybuilding to the Max, and we'll be t- um, talking to our first guest will be NPC Commissioner of Colorado, Jeff Taylor, or what I call him, Jeff Too Tall Taylor. Again, this is GP3, Body Bone to the Max, only on msesports.com. Are you looking for a new piercing or tattoo? Phantom 8 Tattoo and Piercing is the place. Come in and check out their artist work and schedule your appointment today. Don't forget to mention KZKO to receive an hour off your session. Phantom 8 Tattoos and Piercing, conveniently located on South Broadway in Inglewood, or visit phantom8.com. Zing Tea is an all-natural premium green tea made with pure cane sugar and honey. Tea on the go has never been so easy. Zing Tea offers 14 different flavors that you can enjoy hot or cold. Also available in new big gallons. Check out KZKORadio.com for the link today. 
You're listening to MSCSports.com, the official home of the Denver Pirates football team coming 2013. MSCSports.com. Miss football when the Super Bowl is over? You don't have to anymore. Come join the longest continuous running adult football league in America. The Colorado Football Conference, established in 1987, is your cure for the post-Super Bowl blues. For more info, visit CFCFootball.com or MSCSports.com for the link. MSCSports.com. Com. All sports, no limits. Is it time for a new ride? MSC Sports presents Denver Auto Sales. Whether you have good credit, bad credit, or no credit at all, Denver Auto Sales has what you need. With a vast selection of quality pre-owned vehicles, there is something for everyone. Make sure you mention KZKO to receive $500 off your total purchase price. Denver Auto Sales is conveniently located on North Federal Boulevard in Denver. Or visit www.denverautostore.com.
Patreon stage of discussion is the man that is the engine of this Ferrari that we call Colorado NPC. The chairman and the promoter of Colorado NPC. Yeah, too tall, Taylor. And as promised, we are back, GP3, bodybuilding to the max. I'm your host, GP3, and we're here with our guest, Jeff Taylor, the promoter of NPC Colorado. Jeff, how are you doing today? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Glad to be here, George. Thank you. Oh, no problem. Great, great, great. Hey, uh, quick question. Obviously, um, <laughs> oh, a lot of people... <laughs> Got a little um, malfunction here for a second. Um, a lot of people, um, me including myself, have always wondered, how did you come into becoming uh, the chairman of NPC Colorado? Cause I know you have a long history. Yeah, you mean I'm old? <laughs> not, <laughs> not extremely old. Not like Dylan Armbrust that we'll have here later on, but <laughs> not, no, no, not I, too I got, old. I got Dylan. <laughs> I'm pretty old. But um, again, tell us, um, uh, um, tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got into this. No, uh, sure. Um, well, I had health clubs, fitness clubs. I had hardcore gyms up in Fort Collins in uh, the 80s. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. we can't hear you. <laughs> the 80s. 80s? Yeah, it was a long time ago. So <laughs> anyway, I started doing shows as yeah, the 1980s, not the 1880s. Oh, no. uh, yeah, no. yeah, just to make sure <laughs> I'm not that old. Um, yeah, I had gyms, so I wanted to do promotions for my gyms, and uh, I thought... Uh, bodybuilding competition would uh, we did a few shows back then um and i eventually just liked it so much more than the gym business eventually I had three small fitness clubs and uh i kind of changed horses and just took over uh doing all the npc about uh 91 was the uh, my first year as npc chairman here in colorado and uh took over most of the shows at that point so so here's a quick question who was the who was your overall winner on that very first show you did? Can you remember? <laughs> uh, you know what? Actually, I do remember. In 91, the Colorado State Championships was Everett Auberg, who is with the Kenneth Cooper Center now. He's written tons of books. He's done well. See what it does? It's a springboard <laughs> for success. No, that, no, that, no, that is true. That is true. Um, now, the last well, about two years, we've had the Women's Physique Division. Yes. And um, obviously, it's been growing a lot in the country. Um, we have several pros here in Colorado. And um, how do you feel that's changed with the, um, how would you say this, the, um, the participation with your shows, with the women's physique? Has it increased since that division has started? Uh, yeah, it's slowly building up. Nationally, it's huge. You know, that first year, two years ago, it was only on the national level. We didn't have it locally, the women's physique. And then last year was the first year that it's been on the NPC local level. So that means that, uh, you know, we're just ramping up slowly and uh, getting more and more women interested because basically the women's physique look is just a little bit bigger than women's figure. Maybe a little bit more shoulder cap. Um, do some of the all the traditional bodybuilding poses with an open hand as opposed to a closed fist. Right. Um, but, you know, and then more freedom with the suits. So a lot of women that have been bodybuilders in the past, and it just kind of passed them by, they just couldn't keep up, uh, are back. And then a lot of women that just want to train a little harder than, you know, they're just not doing as well in women's figure as they like, and they want to train hard, and they don't want to stop. And that's where they go. There's never been a space between women's figure and women's bodybuilding before, and now there is. Yeah, because I've seen, um, especially in the national and even in the pro level, a lot of women crossing crossing back over or crossing over to women's physique that were either um, bikini uh, bikini pros that weren't doing too well because they were too muscular, um, figure girls that also also too muscular. Um, I think probably right now, probably the most well known I would say uh, fitness not fitness I'm sorry physique um, pro right now um, Sarah Hurley. Yes, which is um, she has. Huge popularity right now. Oh, yeah. She won the St. Louis Pro last week. Um, so she switched over from figure to women's, to women's physique. Okay. And then um, and also this year you have the, um, the first Colorado um, women's physique pro show, um, show yes. here, correct? Yep. We're, uh, we're bringing it in with the uh, IFB. It's going to be the IFBB Mile High Women's Physique, and we're going to do the 
NPC Mile High uh, Amateur Championships along with it, like we always do June 1st. Oh, so it's going to be like a, um, a pro-am? Yep, pro-am. Exactly. Okay, awesome, awesome. And then do you have any ideas of a few who's going to be in that show? Anybody has already discussed or given you ideas that they'll be doing that show? I have commitments from Sarah uh, that we just talked about. Laura Gatilla, who's our state champ last year. She moved to Austin, but she's still uh, a Coloradoan at heart. And uh, whatever. I, didn't know, I didn't know that. She moved it to... Yeah, she just moved a couple of weeks ago, maybe. Oh, I did not know that. I know. Darn it. <laughs> Um, and then uh, another one of our pros this last year was um, Chris Kramer at uh, Masters Nationals. Mm-hmm. And, um, so she is going to be in the show as well as, let's see, who else do we have? Marlena Echohawk and uh, Lauren Lesnow, who her, I, I was excited to have her in the show because she won our first NPC Amateur Women's Physique Show at the Northern Colorado Championships last year. So. And um, I remember I met her for the first time um, at Armbrook's Pro Gym. A lot of energy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's a uh, high energy. <laughs> yeah, no I, question. I, like I think she was about um, probably two days from out of show. And most people that compete, they know in two days from the show, you don't want to deal with anybody. And she had, like I swear that she was, she had to been on something the whole time, just running around <laughs> freaking out. And I was like, it's high on caffeine. Like I was just like. She's like always talking to everybody in the gym I was like, and having a blast. <laughs> two days two days out? Girl, are you serious? I was like, but anyways. So um, so you have that. You also have um, a new venue that you're using for the very first show, April. Uh, second show, actually. Oh, second the, show. I'm Northern. sorry. Northern, yeah. Um, no, that's that's okay. We, our first show, it's still kind of going under the radar for a lot of people. The March 10th, it's a Sunday, so it's a little bit different for people. It's the Denver show. It's the Denver Open. It's uh, local level. It's not national qualifier, but our first national qualifier is the one you're talking about, April 13th. That's the Northern Colorado Championships, and that's going to be at the School of Mines, uh, Green Hall Bunker Auditorium up there. And uh, I'm excited. It's a cool place. It's bigger than we've uh, – more space than we've had at the Northern and huge lobby, so we'll be able to get all the sponsors in there this time. And Now, what is that first show that you're talking about this March 10th? And you said that's not a national qualifier, but right. it's on a Sunday? Yeah, it's the Nutrition Company, Denver Open. And uh, last year we just did Novice and Masters. And I just wanted to, I'm going to always have a lot of Novice classes. Like, I have four Novice classes instead of just, like, three at my big shows. So if you're just starting out, it's a great show to do. I'm still going to have an Open class, though. So it's such a great title. Who doesn't want to be Mr. Denver? Right? Come on, you do, don't you? Oh, no, no. But I'm no, not going to no. let you do it, though. No, I can't, I can't, be, I can't be Mr. <laughs> the reason why I can't be Mr. Denver is because we already had Mr. Colorado with Alan Richards, who also will be in the show later on. And I refuse to be second behind Alan Richards <laughs> at all. <laughs> so that, that won't be happening. Point so well I, taken. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so I can't be Mr. Denver when we have Mr. Colorado. <laughs> so I, right. I, I, yeah. Case closed. <laughs> <laughs> so, then, so April 13th is the. Um, that new venue. That's the Northern at the School of Mines, yep. Okay. And, um, again, for most bodybuilding shows, you have, like, um, guest posters or whatnot. Do you have any any idea for that show or anybody in particular? Yeah, you know, you I, uh, I've been just reaching out to guys, and uh, it's tough because uh, April 13th is FIBO show in Europe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, just about everybody's going to that. Uh, I just reached out to uh, Dennis James this morning. Uh, hopefully I'll hear back from him. I'd like to have him come up. He's brought a number of competitors to shows here in the last couple of years. I don't know if you've seen him in the in the crowd or not. Yeah. But he lives in Arizona. Uh, I saw him uh, about uh, last November. I saw him in uh, Miami for Nationals. Yeah, he was at Nationals. Yeah, huge, huge guy. He is. And he's, <laughs> you know, and, and uh, he and Melvin have a thing uh, you know, going. What's that? Well, no, I guess actually he's, well, you know what? He, he wants to win the Masters Olympia now. So he wants to keep going, and, and uh, he's got the eye of the tiger now. He, he's all uh, wound up. It's actually Dexter he's got the, the thing with. He wants to go back and forth, and because uh, Dexter beat him at Masters Olympia. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, in Paul, in uh, Florida last uh, December. So. Yeah, and Dexter's a competitor. I, when I used to live in Jacksonville, Florida, oh, okay. he used to work out there periodically, and I'd just be like, man, this guy is insane in the gym. He is, He's and he's just, he's still, after all these years, he's the Still the best. I mean, he's great. Longevity now, is amazing in his career. Now, of, of all, give me your top three, all right? Of all the competitors, for all the years you've seen bodybuilding, 
and you can't count, you can't count Phil Heath. Oh wait, the, come on, that, that's automatic. You okay, take, so take he has, the, he's an automatic. Yeah, first. take Phil yeah, no out of the equation. Oh man, that's tough. Give me three. Give me three of your top competitors or of top physiques. Top physiques, man, that's a tough one. I mean, I, I think uh, Alan Richards is definitely up there, but you know, it's 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 tough because of the people that are in your mind most recently. Per, uh, uh, and then of course um, Nick that won our our Rocky the last two years. Uh, it's tough winning a show, back, you know, two years in a row. Yeah. Uh, and he needed to requalify. Yeah, his qualification was up last year, so he, he did it again. Um, these are some of the best guys that have come out of Colorado, but you know, Phil Heath, of course, you know, Rick Socius says he's the only guy that's ever beat Phil. Oh he yeah. Did, <laughs> he did beat him once at a show way back when in 04, I, or 04, I believe. So, um, no, that's a tough one. You're putting, you're putting the pressure on, man. <laughs> you know, you, you got to give me I'm three. Sweating. Got to give me three. Well, it's three. You got Phil. So, no, you, you can't count. You can't count Phil. Oh, okay. Okay. Wow. You're you, and you can't put Alan Richard because he's not in front of me, so you can't put Alan Richards. How about if I'm on your show next time and I'll uh, I'll I'll go through all the lists and it'll totally jog my mind. I want to have, you know, I'm a politician. No, I want to be not, uh, no. fair to everybody. <laughs> no, and you're still... like, oh, that's because he's your favorite buddy. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and then um, okay, so you got that. Is there anything else? You, um, if anybody wants to get a hold of you or reach you, will be the best way. Oh, to you know, just through the website, ColoradoNPC.com. And uh, my email's on there. You can always reach out. And is, it, is, is that www.jefftaylor.com still? Yeah. Or you yeah, it's both. Oh, it's both? Yeah. Okay. All right. And then um, that will be it. So, um, again, our next guest um, coming up to the show will be um, Dylan Armbrust. Again. I got a question for you. <laughs> yeah, all right. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead man, I got question. a question for you. You never And uh, you never busted me on the gymnastics deal. That's funny. Um, <laughs> all right. Don't worry. I got a question for you. What are you doing uh, March 10th? You want to guest pose at the uh, NPC Denver Open? <laughs> Come on. Uh, guest pose. Well, Pressure's on. You know what? The fans are clamoring. <laughs> March 10th, I would definitely guest pose at that show. Because, again, since Alan Richard has already guest posed at, one, at a show, I can't have him up me one. So. Exactly. March 10th is a date. I will definitely guest post yes, for that show. Yes, <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> again, uh, GP3 Bodybuilding to the Max. Again, only on msesports.com. And again, all sports, no limits. Are you looking for a new piercing or tattoo? Phantom 8 Tattoo and Piercing is the place. Come in and check out their artist work and schedule your appointment today. Don't forget to mention KZKO to receive an hour off your session. Phantom 8 Tattoos and Piercing. Conveniently located on South Broadway in Inglewood or visit Fanimate.com. Are you on the fence when it comes to sports? Winning. Well, you're not alone. Join Alex every Wednesday from 8 to 9 p.m. Mountain Standard Time on MSCSports.com. You play to win the game. You never know. You might still be on the fence after listening to this show. Uh, playoffs? What are talking about? Playoffs? You kidding me? Playoffs? On the fence. Only on MSCSports.com. All sports, no limits. I mean, listen, we're talking about practice. Not a game, not a game, not a game. We're talking about practice. Come to the beach and get your tan on. With over 31 locations in the Denver metro area, At the Beach is sure to put some color back in your life. For more information, visit their website at www.atbtanning.com. Also log on to www.kzkoradio.com to join the Vibe Club today for your chance to win a $30 gift card. At the beach, it's tanning time, baby. Tired of cutting coupons and looking for deals or ways to save money? Daily Pocket Deals has everything you need, offering new deals for local businesses every day. Daily Pocket Deals is sure to keep more money in your pocket. Visit dailypocketdeals.com and enter promo code KZKO to be automatically entered to win one of many great prizes. You're listening to MSCSports.com, the official home of the Denver Pirates football team coming 2013. MSCSports.com, all sports, no limits. Miss football when the Super Bowl is over? You don't have to anymore. Come join the longest continuous running adult football league in America. The Colorado Football Conference, established in 1987, is your cure for the post-Super Bowl blues. For more info, visit cfcfootball.com or mscsports.com for the link. mscsports.com, all sports, no limits. Our next guest is the man that needs no introduction. 
His name speaks volumes in Colorado, in the Midwest, and all over the United States. He is the owner of the world's famous Armbus Pro Gym. 20 plus years of fitness and bodybuilding experience. Our next guest, Dylan Armbrust, a.k.a. The Boss, 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 Boss. Yeah! GP3, Bodybuilding to the Max. This is your host, GP3. And we have our guest with us right now. Again, Dylan Armbrust, a.k.a. The Boss. What's up, D? The Boss, huh? I don't know where that came from. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I'm the boss. I'm doing great. Thanks for having me on today, George. Oh, awesome, awesome. Hey, so so for anybody that hasn't heard about you or your gym, tell us a little bit about yourself, Dylan. Well, I uh, a little bit about myself. There's a lot about myself, but I'll try to condense it into a little bit. <laughs> yeah, we ain't got all day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, name's Dylan Armbrust. I, I own and operate Armbrust Pro Gym out of uh, Wheat Ridge, Colorado. Um, uh, I'm also a, a trainer. Uh, a fitness trainer so not so much a fitness trainer but i specialize in bodybuilding i uh train numerous clients uh in colorado out of colorado out of the country um, trying to really back off that a little bit and focus more on the business and the gym aspect so i'm keeping you know a few less clients nowadays and really focusing in on the gym uh, okay i see i see uh, one thing I have noticed <laughs> about you, and um, for everybody out there, I have the, a small relationship with Dylan. And um, about a year ago, <laughs> the way I met Dylan was I sat down and I had a conversation with God, which is rarely. And I said, uh, God, I need you to put me into this realm of fitness or put me with some people that can really improve the way I look. So then God responded to me by saying, son, <laughs> the, um, there's a guy that I want you to go meet. Back in the day when uh, Jesus and Moses used to compete, this guy was on stage with them also. I'm that old, huh? <laughs> so the 20 plus years is actually about 20 centuries of uh, fitness, <laughs> fitness stuff that this guy knows. So, I mean... He knows it. He knows a lot of this stuff. So, the one thing I've also noticed too, when I went to your gym, and again I go there periodically, and you'll give me crap about that one. Um, I noticed that a lot of your trainers at your gym, you have a wide variety of different. They have all a, a wide variety of different concepts. Yeah, we uh, have trainers for pretty much everybody's needs at my gym. We have trainers that are good for bodybuilders like myself power lifters, your soccer moms, your elderly, your high school athletes, and your professional athletes. It's it's a very well-balanced gym with very well-balanced trainers. And of, all, of the 24-hour fitnesses and the lifetime, what distinguished your gym from their gyms? Absolutely, it'd be the personalization. Um, you know, those are all corporate-ran gyms. Uh, they're just kind of thrown together. They're they're there to provide a bit. They're there to make money, basically. You know, it's 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 like a vending machine. They're there to just make money and spit out dollars and cents, which is what every business wants to do. But there's very, very, very little personalization in those gyms. With uh, my gym, Armbrust Pro Gym, <clears throat> it's it's family owned. It's been that way since day one, and everybody has some skin in there. So it, it's very important for it to succeed and go on day to day and how we do that is just through customer service awesome awesome now um you also have some other things going on this year besides i think you have a new gym building is this correct got a new gym opening up off of hampton and uh boy what is that chambers hampton and chambers southwest corner yes that'll be opening up probably i'd say about the very beginning of february sometime and we've just, you know, had so much success with the first one that uh, we um, have a, a second one opening out in the Aurora area. So Now for the um, the clients and individuals that have worked out at your your older gym, what's going to make this gym different from that gym? 
Well, the original Jim Armbrust Pro Gym, everybody knows it's kind of like the hardcore. It's Everybody likes to call it the hardcore mecca, like the mecca of you know working out in Colorado, the mile-high mecca. It is. Uh, there's a lot of free weights. There's more free weights in Armbrust Pro Gym and Wheat Ridge than anywhere else in the in the state. So we have more of just everything as to where this newer one's going to be. We still have all the great machines and the great equipment, but it, it's a little fancier. It's made a little bit more for you know you're taking off the the intimidation factor. A lot of people are intimidated to come in Armbrust Pro Gym because word pro on it i think or they just see all the bodies walking in and <laughs> yeah, out of the yeah. door all day long and they're like hey, you know i'm not going in there but you know really we have bodies of all sorts you know old, older younger um, so so basically the the goal for this gym is kind of make it more somewhat more of a family um family friendly kind of atmosphere. family friendly just just try to get rid of the intimidation and let everybody know that they're welcome you know and, and that's the way it is at the gym in wheat ridge too everybody's welcome we're just trying to take the edge off through appearance Make them understand that you know Armbrust Pro Gym is that's our slogan. It's 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 a professional gym for everyone. Now the um the one the one question I did have, and I noticed this again being at Armbrust Pro Gym and working out there, that you have a variety of pros there, even from I think I think you had a few professional like football players go through there and work out, um, bodybuilders, bikini girls, fitness, etc. I'll just touch a little base about that. Lots of professional athletes um, come in the gym, and I think, well, I know, you know, if you're an athlete, uh, every day you're training. You're training to be better. And the reason why I believe they come to the gym is just because I keep a great variety of equipment. And, and And every year I'm changing out, getting rid of stuff that people really, you know, aren't so up on. They're like, you know, don't really like this machine or, you know, just... Always bringing in new stuff. Always, always keeping everything fresh, keeping everything interesting, moving things around, coming up with the newest and latest ideas, the newest and latest machines, so on and so on. And so, as an athlete, that's what you need to keep your training going full full steam ahead. And obviously, you have um, the two-time Mister Olympia Phil Heath, um, the gift, working out there. Um, you also train um, Alina Popa. Alina Popa, who's she's all the way from Russia. We do have Phil, very fortunate to have two-time Mr. Olympia train at the gym. And um, it's just a testament to what we're doing there. And um, just, you know, it's my job to keep them happy and keep them um, working out there and getting all the latest and greatest equipment so so they're happy and they can do what they need to do to, to make their bodies do what it needs to do to, to win. Now for 2013 coming up, we have, um, again, Armbrust Pro Gym is probably the huge pro um, pro factory up here in Denver. A um, couple of clients that you have in mind that's going, probably going to make some big noise on the national stage this year. Well, you know, there's I've got a lot. We've got a lot of talent in there. A lot of people with great potential, and um, there's a few few names out there. Uh, you know, Alan Richards, Sylvester Kane. Those are two up and comers that I, I think will probably do really good on the national stage this year that i work with there's some <clears throat> others out there that are uh going to do very well as well but um those are the two that pop in my head yeah, cause, um captain colorado and he'll be here um later on tonight so y'all can um hear from him the big superhero of uh denver <laughs> yeah the big superhero <laughs> <laughs> and um so besides that, with the clients and the new gym, um, anything else coming? I mean, now I know you used to compete a while, a while back, back in the day. Again, you and Jesus you know, went went at it a few times in the overall. Yeah, we we, <laughs> we had our rounds. <laughs> Any plans for you to compete this year? No, no plans for me to compete this year. My my plan is to just keep uh, building on the brand of Armbrust Pro Gym, and um, hopefully. We can uh, really make this Aurora gym blow up, and I can do some really great things in Wheat Ridge again this year. And uh, uh, we can hope to maybe uh, get the next one out of state. We got a lot of people that fly in every year, and and, and some of them really just fly in to, to train at the gym for a week. It's it's you know it's a great honor on my part. But um, now maybe we can get one maybe down in Florida, you know, somewhere nice where I can go spend the winters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
yeah, Florida is nice to get that humid humidity, and then yeah, and then I come back for the summer. So you know, it's all worked out. I, I guess. <laughs> um, but how can uh, how can a regular person that wants to either use your um, use your training sessions or other trainers from that gym? How can they get a hold? How can they get a hold of you? They can get a hold of us, me or the gym. You know, our, our phone number is 303-456-0076. That's the direct line to Armbrust Pro Gym. Uh, we have a website. It's, uh, you know, just armbrushprogym.com. It's very easy to find. Uh, we can, if you want to, if you're looking for a trainer, all my trainers, all the, I shouldn't say my trainers, are independent contractors that train out of the gym. So, you know they work for themselves that way i'm i'm capable of having you know the trainers that i do at the gym that they're the probably the better trainers because a, a really good successful trainer will work for himself he's not going to work for a 24 hour fitness he or she she's not going to work for a fitness 19 she's going to work for themselves so they can make some money they're going to they're going to be an independent contractor and work for themselves yeah and i can tell with a lot of trainers and i hear a lot of them complain about the issue about like um, how most gyms will usually take maybe 60, 70 percent of the profit, and some of the trainers just at that point is, at that point it has nothing to do with the client. It's more about just about trying, dollars and cents. Yeah, and that's what you're getting with twenty four hour fitness and the other big chains like that is, you know, it's just dollars and cents to them. So, you know, we all need money to survive and move on, but you know, you got You can't lose fact. You can't lose sight of the fact that a lot of it's about quality too. You you've got to bring quality to your product, and you know when you are looking for a trainer, a quality trainer has ten twenty years behind his or her belt to bring along. Or with centuries like you, centuries, yeah, centuries like me. So, you know that's experience is is key. Now, also besides the do gym, once a year you um, sponsor um, a local bodybuilding show. Is that correct? Yeah, we are total, I mean, total, we, we are um, title sponsor of the Warrior Classic, which is going into its fourth year. It's the Armbrust Pro Gym Warrior Classic, which is, in my opinion and many others, the, the best show in Colorado right now. I mean, it's it's held at a beautiful venue. It's It's like actually competing at a national show the way it's ran. We bring in a, a, a head national judge every year. Um, this year, I think we're going to have national expediters and, and a national judge, so it gives the athlete the uh, experience of really competing at a national show, and it's now a national qualifier, too. So um, it's 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 a lot of fun, and I really like being a part of it. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I saw it last year, and um, I had some amazing bodybuilder win the overall last year. Um, I can't remember his name. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, think, <laughs> I think he trains with Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know who that who that, who that what that bodybuilder's name is, but I mean he's obviously a baller. And yeah. Then, um, <laughs> but then you also I, th I think you trained um, uh, Dana Richards, who also won that. Job. Dana Richards, who also won, who is who is a national name in the women's bodybuilding scene. So uh, yeah, it, it had some great champions, and I'm sure it'll have some more great champions this year. And it's like I said, it's held at a, a really nice hotel, and it, it's run like a national show. And we just have a, a, a ton of fun. You know, I love bodybuilding, and I, I title sponsor that show. It's my way of giving back, and I love to get involved and just make sure it's ran smooth and that the competitors just really enjoy their experience. And I think um, last year there was a total of um, – did, um, did you get over 400 competitors for that show? No, I think there was right around uh, – there was, like, close to 300. So 300, yeah, Which is great, well, and we're yeah. expecting more this year. It'll be a two-day show this year, so. Oh, yeah, so – Again, all you local competitors out there, make sure you're out for that show. Because, again, probably one of the best local shows that we'll have next year. Absolutely. Show. And also, too, you have a, a store with the older uh, with the with your old location. Will this store also be in the new location also? There won't be a store in the new location. There will be a, a, a full, full-on pro shop with Smoothie Bar, the whole nine yards, where you can – get protein shakes after you work out you can buy hoodies t-shirts protein bars a few supplements here and there but but the store at the 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 wheat ridge gym arm breast fitness emporium is you know we got a brand new store up at the front of the gym all your supplement needs 
at dot com prices, you know, professional, knowledgeable staff to, to help you get, you know, what you're looking for if you're not sure what you're looking for. So um, <laughs> that always helps and instead yeah. of walking in somewhere else and so, somebody just selling something that doesn't really know what they're talking about. So. Or like walking into like a regular, probably some of the GNCs or whatever out there and then people just try to make commission and we'll sell you anything. Well, you said that. I didn't say that, but um, yeah. Hey, <laughs> it's the truth. I've been at some GNCs, and they have sold me any and everything for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> okay, well, again, it's glad to have you on the show, Dylan. Appreciate it. And our next guest will obviously be some of Dylan's clients that he was just talking about earlier, Mr. Um, Alan Richards, Sylvester Kane, and Rob Robo. And again, this is GP3 Muscle Bodybuilding to the Max. This is GP3 Bodybuilding to the Max, only on MSCSports.com, all sports, no limits. Hey, it's your girl, Lady K, host of The Sounds of Soul every Tuesday night. Check out our newest sponsor on MSC Radio Network, Latin Life Denver. You know, being a Latina girl myself, I've always wanted to know anything and everything pertaining to Latin community arts and nightlife in Colorado. So if you want to know more information like I did, visit LatinLifeDenver.com. Once again, that's LatinLifeDenver.com. Adios. Zing Tea is an all-natural premium green tea. Made with pure cane sugar and honey, tea on the go has never been so easy. Zing Tea offers 14 different flavors that you can enjoy hot or cold. Also available in new big gallons. Check out KZKORadio.com for the link today. What better way to show you care than to send one of my mom's pies? Fresh homemade pies using nothing but the best local fruit and the finest ingredients. Handcrafted with love right out of their boulder kitchen and passed down for four generations. Mmm, that's my mom's pies. Call now, 303-652-6667. That's 303-652-MOMS. And order your pie today, or check out their delicious menu at mmpies.com, where you can select your pies upon request. That's my mom's pies. What are you waiting for? Miss football when the Super Bowl is over? You don't have to anymore. Come join the longest continuous running adult football league in America. The Colorado Football Conference, established in 1987, is your cure for the post-Super Bowl blues. For more info, visit cfcfootball.com or mscsports.com for the link. mscsports.com. All sports, no limits. You're listening to MSCSports.com, the official home of the Denver Pirates football team coming 2013. MSCSports.com, all sports, no limits. Coming to a national stage near you, three of Colorado's top amateur bodybuilders, The Undertaker, Sylvester Kane, The Rock, Rob Robo. And Captain Colorado, Alan Richards. <laughs> What's up? We're back. GP3, Bodybuilding to the Max. And again, this is your host, the tall, dark, and handsome GP3. And I'm here with, again, three of the top amateur bodybuilders here in Colorado. Mr. Too Short, Sylvester Kane, uh, Kane. Oh. The Rock, <laughs> Rob Robo, and Captain Colorado, Alan Richard. How y'all doing today? What's good, hey, DJ Cavs? I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, stay off the cap jokes. All right, again, um, out there um, right now, I'm going to have uh, each one of y'all describe y'all self, talk, talk about each other, um, basically um, what shows you have coming up. And before we came out here, we drew st- um, straws and cane. Obviously, you got the shorter end, so you go ahead and go first. <laughs> Hey, I got USA coming up. Hey, you ain't smooth. Get up close to the mic. <laughs> so I was just saying, <laughs> we gonna make love to the mic and everything. <laughs> but I got USA's coming up in July, light heavyweight class, one of the top nationally ranked in that class right now. Sit next to the only man in the room who's finished higher than me. So <laughs> anybody else can say what they want, but guess what? <laughs> Records don't lie. <laughs> Don't believe nothing Captain Cavs say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do whatever. Rob, what's up, man? Tell us about yourself. What I got coming up next is going to be Colorado State in July. Got to requalify. 
took a couple years off due to injury, and then I'm going to be going to take away from Sylvester Kane what he thinks that he's going to win. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's the whole... We all got to have a dream. That's the whole elephant in the room kind of question. So, y'all two get on stage. Who wins? I do. That's pretty He's, quick, but it's me. It'll be that. I'm prettier. That's all I had to go. But don't you have, like, a back of, like, of a seven-year-old? <laughs> you got a waist of an 80-year-old. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> and, and Captain Colorado, what's up? Get in there. Hey, um... My name's Alan Richards. Uh, I'm getting ready for Junior Nationals. Uh, I'm going to be in the Super Heavy class. Just came off of uh, doing the Colorado State this year, so had to spend the summer putting on exercise to try to get ready for the big boys out there in Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not even. I'm not even going to go at you yet. <laughs> so, um, again, with this whole show talking about um, bodybuilding all together. Um, each one of y'all tell me if a certain physique of one of the top pros or even legends, if you had to pick one person's physique to have, who would that be? Overall, I'm going with a true legend, which is Flex Wheeler. That's too short talking. Rob? Flex Lewis. You know, right now I'd have to say uh, Sean Roden. Sean Roden. Okay, I would say myself. All right. <laughs> Back to these dreams we talked about. That's legendary. <laughs> legendary minus the Cavs. Serious. All right. So, anyways, back to the um, again the elephant in the room question. Y'all two go at it. So, can you tell me that you beat out Rob? I beat him. The man's had two years to sit around and eat donuts and cupcakes. What are you gonna do? Really, Rob? You just, just sit there and take it like that? I don't eat donuts and cupcakes. I oh, oh, my bad. Hostess went out of business. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that person gets hostess, but you know, y'all left. Well, it kind of goes like this. When I get on stage, it's lights out. They still look at how you look, though. <laughs> so, now nah, even if they got flashlights looking at you, they uh -uh, ain't going to happen. I'm still prettier. Talk a big game. I can talk and I'll back it up. So when are going to see you guys on stage together? It's going to be July if he can qualify. He got to get out of state first. If I can <laughs> Ever lost state yet. I throw names out there, but I won't do that today because... They may be listening, and I don't want to offend nobody, personally. Keep the names. <laughs> All right, and Alan Richard, I ain't even worried about you. So, um. uh -huh. <laughs> If you ever join me in my class, you should be. Oh, God. Captain Colorado, seriously. I, I, <laughs> that loss for words. No, I mean, it's not even in this. We're not even in the same... This is as close as you'll ever get to me, honestly. Besides, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Ira. <Howard. laughs> I mean, again, I'll give you the calves. Um, people that don't know me, that I have an issue with my calves right now. It's a small issue. They just don't grow. <laughs> small issue. <laughs> I mean, I'm working on it. So, I mean, it's getting there. His calves is like the U.S. budget. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <I'm so> <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was about to cuss now. I had to stop and watch myself. Um, so again, but uh, my beautiful waist, my wide back. What do you mean? What are you coughing for? Richard, it's just, it's not a good, it won't ever be a good day for you when you get on stage with me. But again, Let's just move on. <laughs> <laughs> you can keep dreaming. We'll see. One day we will see. It's going to oh, be fun. It's going to be a blast. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a blast. I just feel bad for you, you know, and Dana and all of them to come up there. It's like, oh, my God. I'm sorry. George was just so amazing. You're, you're going to doubt the Richard's genetics? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to remember I, you said this. Oh, my God. I almost cussed again. <laughs> I'm going to pick up right there, Alan. It's kind of like little Sylvester over here. He's <laughs> too short. Too short. He's doubting my genetics. He doesn't know I've never lost a show. Oh, all that. Oh. Ooh. Who are you going against? <laughs> uh, Who are I'll you? Wait. You're going against pretty much you and everybody else. I'm just standing there alone. Yeah, in the back. <laughs> no. <laughs> 
It's you. <laughs> Somebody's <laughs> got to hand me my paper towel when I walk <laughs> on stage. <laughs> To wipe up all Don't the worry, sweat. I'll give you a hug and throw the tan on there. Wipe up all the and, and wish you your best eyes. next year at the uh, the Northern. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Anthony Rayer will win the Colorado. <laughs> <coughs> oh my God! <laughs> all right, folks. Well. First of all, I want to just thank all of our sponsors here. We'll end on that note. <laughs> thank all of our sponsors here um, for <laughs> MSC Sports. <laughs> this is GP3 bodybuilding to the max. <laughs> Tune into our show <laughs> every Thursday <laughs> from 9 to 10 p.m. <laughs> Mountain Standard Time. Oh, and again, like always. I shine bright like a diamond. So, <laughs> I can't believe you said that. All right, and then we'll call it a wrap. <laughs>